Hello, my friends. As I promised you yesterday, each day this week, I'm going to uh, share my thoughts about a quote from a Presbyterian pastor in the 1600s by the name of Samuel Rutherford. Here's today's quote. He said, My Lord Jesus has fully replaced my sadness with his joys, my losses with his own presence, and I find it a sweet and rich thing to exchange any sorrow with Christ's joys and my afflictions with that sweet peace I have with him. Now, last evening, as I reflected on these words, I wondered how they might be fleshed out in our daily lives. And then I came across a couple of things this morning that, that made it real to me. As I picked up the church mail at the local post office, included in the mail was a card from a retired school teacher in our area, just letting me know that there are brighter days ahead and, and how much she appreciates my ministry to the community and how she and her husband are, are praying for me each and every day. Then I checked the voicemails once I got to the office, and the first one on the machine was one from one of our senior citizens, and she was playing the song, Just a Closer Walk with Thee, on the piano, and simply sent it as an encouragement to me. Let me play a little bit of that. As I listened to that, I thought, just another way that we can be an encouragement to someone else in our life. To quote Rutherford, it's, it's sadness replaced with the joy of Jesus, affliction replaced with his sweet peace. You know, I've tried hard to stay in contact with, with people in my circle of influence through texts and phone calls and emails and so on. And these two contacts that I received today simply reinforced in my life the importance of our keeping in touch with each other. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 12 encourage us to excel in the gifts that build up the church. And then in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 11, we read these words, Encourage one another and build each other up just as, in fact, you are doing. You've heard it before. The church is not a building. We are the church. So while we continue to be separated from one another during this time, let's be sure that we continue to build each other up. Would you pray with me, please? Father God, I want to thank you for the many ways that your people are seeking to encourage one another and to stay in contact with one another. And while I continually pray for an end to this time of separation, and I anxiously anticipate that day when we will all come back together again, in the meantime, bring to our minds those who need a word of encouragement, and may we willingly and joyfully share that word with them. In Jesus' name. Amen. May God continue to bless you, and I'll see you again tomorrow.